today we shall discuss smooth bore weapons and improvised firearms the firearm is called so because it is the fire flame that burns the propellant which creates sufficient pressure to push the bullet out of the cartridge there are different type of firearms some of them are smooth bore weapons while others are rifled weapons these are standard weapons manufactured in government factories but there are many more weapons which are illegally manufactured and they are called improvised weapons or country made weapons or home made weapons these weapons which are smooth bore weapons have a uniform diameter right from the muzzle point to the breech point meaning thereby that if we cross sectionally cut the diameter it will give rise to a perfect ring in case of rifle weapon the diameter is not uniform instead we have lands and grooves in it they are called rifled weapons the examples can be 0.303 inch rifle 9 mm pistol and 0.32 inch revolver so far as the improvised weapons are concerned they are illegally manufactured but they use standard ammunition whereas they have no specifications and they are manufactured by anyone anywhere without any standard specification the smooth bore weapons of two types those which are muzzle loading they are called buzzing loading weapons and those which are breech loading are called breech loading weapons today all modern weapons whether smooth bore or rifled weapons are breech loading weapons and most of them are manufactured by standard companies so far as illegal weapons or home made weapons or country made weapons are concerned neither they have any specifications nor they are manufactured legally but they are using the standard ammunition to start with sometimes the muzzle end of the gun is having smaller diameter than the breech end the decrease in the diameter gives rise to a phenomena called choke when the diameter is reduced by 1 mm it is called full choke whereas the diameter reduction to the extent of 0.5 mm it will be called half choke and similarly we have quarter choke and improvised choke so far as rifled are concerned the bore of the weapon or the smooth bore weapon has a number before it to give you the example 12 bore gun 12 indicates the diameter of the smooth bore weapon this 12 bore gun has a diameter which correspond to the diameter of the pure lead ball weighing 1 over 12th of a pound exactly in the same manner a 20 bore gun will have weight of the ball as 1 over 20th of the pound after studying this module you shall be able to know about smooth bore firearms and their classification mechanism of smooth bore firearms about bore and choke 
Concept of Improvised Firearms Introduction to Smooth Bore Firearms Generally, a firearm is a device so designed that may propel a projectile with abundant force. The required force is generally produced by creation and expansion of gases produced by the burning of powder charges, that is, propellants inside the cartridge. So far, air guns, rifles or pistols are concerned. The said necessary force is provided either by compressed air or gases like carbon dioxide or nitrogen. A firearm is called so because it is this flame which is responsible for the burning of propellant to create sufficient gas to drive the projectile. Firearms are broadly divided into two types according to their internal design of the barrel which are 1. Rifle firearms 2. Smooth bore firearms Smooth bore firearm is the one in which the bore discussed later or inside of the barrel is perfectly smooth from breech end to the muzzle end. For illustration, if the barrel of a shotgun is cut up cross-sectionally, it will be a perfect ring. Examples of smooth bore firearms are shotguns and muskets. Classification of shotguns Shotguns are divided into three parts, breech loading, muzzle loading, magazine loading, where breech loading is further divided into hammerless and hammer type and magazine loading is divided into four types that is self-loading, repeaters, bolt action, lever action. Hammerless is also divided into three parts which are side by side, over and under, paradox. Shotguns are mainly of three types, breech loading shotguns. The breech loading shotguns are further divided into two subtypes. One contains an outer hammer to knock the cartridge and known as hammer type while in the other type the hammer mechanism is placed entirely within the gun. The breech loading smoothbore firearms are in vogue at present and their good examples are A. SBBL it is single barrel breech loading shotgun which has a single barrel making it capable to house only one cartridge at a time to its chamber present at the breech end B. DBBL it is double barrel breech loading shotgun which has two barrels and is capable to stock not more than two cartridge at a time. Shotguns having hammerless mechanism are further divided into three types. One side by side type it is a typical DBBL and the two barrels are attached in a manner that they are adjacent to each other. Second, over and under type. It is also an example of DBBL in which the barrels are one above the other. Third, paradox guns. This gun has uniqueness as the barrel is partially rifled. Small portion at the muzzle end is rifled but the major portion of the barrel is smooth. The rifling is done in order to provide gyroscopic stability to the projectiles which are generally slugs or ball ammunitions. Second, muzzle loading shotguns. The muzzle loading shotguns are obsolete nowadays because of its primordial mechanism in which the gunpowder was rammed into the barrel through the muzzle end and then single ball ammo placed above the charge. The escape of gases made the weapon dangerous and prone to accidents. Moreover, the range was not as much as expected and making their lethality less.
Third, magazine loading shotguns. There are some drawbacks in the shotguns. One of them is the loading capacity of a shotgun. Usually, the numbers of cartridges available in the guns are not more than the maximum number of the barrel. For repeated firing shotguns, surely lacks quality. To overcome the problem, various innovations were introduced and positive results were obtained at some extent. Based on the modifications, magazine loading shotguns are of following types. 1. Self-loading 2. Repeaters 3. Bolt action and 4. Lever action Mechanism of shotgun a shotgun has a more simple mechanism which contains very basic but important parts which are 1. Barrel Barrel of a firearm is one of the most important parts which facilitate the movement of the projectile. It also provides a space for the expansion of gases. The barrel of shotguns are smooth bored, that is, no rifling. Second chamber Chamber is present at the breech end of the firearm where the cartridge is housed. The cartridge rests in the chamber and trapped by its rim. Third bore. It is the number indicating the size of the internal cross-sectional diameter of the barrel. That is, the number of spherical lead balls exactly fitting inside the barrel and together weighing exactly one pound. For choke, it is a depression at the muzzle end of the shotgun produced in order to decrease splattering of pellets and increase their range. 5. Action Action of any firearm consists of mechanism for loading of cartridge, firing, extraction and ejection. 6. Stock Stock of a firearm is a part with support and hold the internal parts in position. 7. Firing pin It is a pin-like structure which hits the percussion cap of the cartridge case when the trigger is pulled. Bore Bore is the number indicating the number of spherical lead balls fitting inside the barrel and are together weighing 1 pound. For example, a 12-bore Gun is a weapon in which 12 spherical lead balls of same dimension exactly fits inside the barrel and together they weigh up 1 pound. Shotguns have different bore diameters. The number prefixed before the bore represents the bore size. For greater number of the bore, the size of the bore becomes lesser. In case of a 12 bore shotgun, the internal diameter of the barrel is equal to the diameter of a spherical ball of pure lead weighing one twelfth of a pound, that is 454 grams. Similarly, the corresponding lead balls weighs one sixteenth pound to the case of a 16 bore shotgun. It is quite clear that less weight means less material and hence diameter of the shotgun. The bore diameter can be found from the given bore number using the well-known formula d cube is equal to 4.6578 by n where d is the diameter of the barrel in inches, n is the bore number. Bore diameters of various bore number, bore number 6, diameter in inches, 0.919 bore number 8 diameter 0.885 bore number 10 diameter 0.775 bore number 12 diameter 0.729 bore number 16 diameter 0.637 Bore number 20, diameter 0.615. Bore number 24, diameter 0.579. Bore number 28, diameter 
0 0.550 bore number 32 diameter 0.526 when the diameter of a smooth bore firearm barrel is less than half inch the bore diameter is designated in decimal fraction of an inch example musket is a smooth bore firearm and its bore is represented in the decimal fraction as 0.410 inches choke barrels of shotguns are often narrowed down to reduce the diameter of the barrel near the muzzle end the purpose of narrowing down is to control the dispersal of the shot charge so that the effective range gets increased. This contraction is known as choke. The choke tapers inside the barrel to a distance varying from 3 to 15 cm from the muzzle end. The reduction of the bore diameter constriction varies from about 1 to 0.25 mm approximately in 12 bore shotguns. When the reduction is 1 mm reduction, it is half choke and with 0.25 mm is the quarter choke. If the constrictions are less than 0.25 mm, it is an improvised cylinder barrel. Although there are several different types of chokes, namely cone choke, jug choke, variable choke, reverse choke, and standard choke. Improvised firearms. Improvised firearms are also known as homemade firearms as they are manufactured by local blacksmiths or illegal manufacturers from easily available household materials. These materials may be iron pipes, cast earrings pipe and hose pipes etc. with crude tools for the firing mechanism. The caliber, shape and size of the firearm depend upon the availability of the ammunition, barrel tube and the skill of the blacksmith. There are large variations in the mechanism in the functioning of the firearms and it varies not only from the standards but also from one firearm to another. They are effective at short range only as the combustion of propellants is often incomplete and the extent of combustion varies from short to short. The wounding effect of improvised firearm is nearly unpredictable because of the easy and inexpensive availability these weapons are favorite choice for the criminals the ammunition popularly used in the improvised guns are of 12 bore shotgun cartridge 0.315 0 0.303 ammunitions some examples of improvised firearms are commonly known as zip guns katta Adhi, etc. Summary Smooth bore firearms are popular because of their easy maintenance, simple mechanism, and sturdy nature. Unfortunately, smooth bore weapons are manufactured illegally on a small scale as well as on commercial scale for the criminal activity. Each such non standard firearm is unique in itself in respect of mechanism of firing and make up and known as improvised firearm. When the cartridge is loaded from the muzzle end, the gun is called muzzle loading type. In such a gun, the cartridge components which are loose are inserted from the muzzle end. A ramrod attached to the gun is used to position various components. The stock of firearm holds the other parts in position and provides support. In automatic and semi-automatic pistol, 
the stock also carries the magazine.